Thanks for tuning in for another HodgePodge Australia tutorial. Today I am making candy corn Halloween cupcakes. As you can see I've baked some cupcakes and I've done them in a nice bright orange for Halloween. They'll also match our lovely candy corn. And I'm just using some white buttercream with a large open circle piping tip and I'm just doing a nice big swirl of buttercream on the top. Very soon we're going to get out some candy corns making sure that we're using whole candy corn so we can take out any broken pieces and leave them to the side to you can eat them I suppose if you want or add them into something else so using whole candy corns we're going to place them poking up and out of the cupcakes as my daughter described it they look like a candy corn fence so or candy corn spikes I'm going to do one layer around the outside on each cupcake and then I'm going to come back around and I'm going to do another layer on the inside of that layer. So it's really nice and spiky because it just wasn't effective enough with one circle round of spikes. So doing that on all of our cupcakes and then we'll get on to making our fondant skulls. Now we're on to making our skull fondant. So I have some fondant that I've coloured grey with a bit of marble. I have my lovely little skullet cutter that I found at the cake shop, so cute, and inspired the cupcakes to be honest. And I have a skull and crossbones cutter as well for the boys. Now I've used black colouring for the fondant, uh, mixed it through till I got a nice grey and I've left it marbled because I didn't want just plain old grey. So I thought it had a little bit of interest by having some marbling in there. So just rolling that out nice and flat, as you can see the marbling there. And then we're going to use our cutters to cut out the shapes. Now, silly me, pressed the wrong button on the camera and turned it off so you didn't actually get to see the cutting, but you all know how that works. So we've cut out our shapes. You can see our skullets here. Now what we've done is we've cut out the outlines of skullet and we've punched out all the holes for our skull and crossbones. We're gonna leave them all there to dry. We're going to now use our impression of Scarlett to push in the detail. So just giving it a slight push and there she is. She's so pretty. So let's get doing that. And then we're gonna put them aside until they're nice and dry and we'll be able to sit up on their own. Here we can see our skulls and skullets are nice and dry and I really like the marbling, it adds a bit of detail to the skulls. So what we're going to do is we're going to take them and we're just going to place them into the top of our cupcake so that they sit up around our candy corn spiked fence. So continuing that with all six, we've got our lovely skull and crossbones. These are a little bit more difficult to place because of the bones sticking down so you do have to fiddle with them a bit. I've broken the bone off that one but a little bit of placing and no one will even notice. As you can see, so let's continue to do that and then we will have our lovely skull and crossbones candy corn Halloween cupcakes. Here they are all finished. I think they look really festive, really colourful and who doesn't love candy corn, some buttercream and some skulls at this time of year. So I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you subscribe. Thanks for watching.